At about 10.30 a.m. on February 17, 2006, the devastating Ginsaugan landslide occurred. It claimed 122 people's lives, while 1,328 people are still missing. There were many factors that triggered this landslide. But first, let us define what a landslide is and how hazardous it could be. Landslide is defined as a movement of a mass of rock, debris, or earth down a slope. Landslide is the most rapid and destructive type of mass wasting in which a large quantity of loosened surface rocks and soil suddenly slide down a steep slope. Other forms of mass wasting include falls, topples, slides, spreads, and flows. Falls An abrupt movement of masses of geologic materials such as rocks and boulders that became detached from steep slopes or cliffs. Topple Distinguished by the forward rotation under the action of gravity and forces exerted by adjacent units or by units in cracks. Slides It is where there is a distinct zone of weakness that separates the slide material from more stable underlying material. The two major types of slides are rotational slides and translational slides. Lateral spreads. They are distinctive because they usually occur on very gentle slopes or flat terrain. And lastly, flows. They are rapid moving mass wasting events in which the loose material is typically mixed with abundant water, creating long runouts at a slope base. The aftermath includes a rapid deterioration on the economy and utility of the community, and of course, high mortality and injuries. Earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, droughts, and heavy prolonged rainfall are the ones that trigger landslides. This disrupts the natural stability of a slope, and these are very common in the Philippines due to its geologic setting. In the Ginza Ogun landslides case, the constant rainfall caused this disaster to happen. The rain caused the soil to loosen, and the lubricating action of water and the pull of gravity will eventually result in landslide. Hence, a rainfall-induced landslide. Heavy rainfall was recorded for two weeks with a total precipitation of 787 mm before the disaster happened. The location and setting of the area as well prompted the landslide to happen. Apparently, Ginza Ogun was located near the Philippine Fault Zone, in which many smaller medium-scale earthquakes have already occurred. This lessens the compactness of the soil in the area. The lithology of Ginza Ogun is composed of volcanic breccia, dacitic tuff, and hornblende dacite. With hydrothermal alteration, these rocks turn into smectite. And due to the characteristic of smectite in company with the heavy rainfall occurrence, it expanded and caused the instability of the natural slope and the disaster to happen. Other rainfall induced landslide includes the 2022 Bye Bye Leyte landslide, with 36 deaths and 26 missing caused by Tropical Storm Maggie. 2018 Naga Cebu landslide with 78 deaths and 5 missing caused by heavy rainfall. 2018 Itugon Binget landslide with 87 death and 12 missing caused by Typhoon Ompong. 2017 Biliran landslide with 26 death and 21 missing caused by Tropical Storm or Duha. And lastly, 2014 Katbalugan landslide with 19 death and 0 missing caused by Tropical Storm Senyang. Since landslide is a hazard, establishing a disaster management plan for mitigation, preparedness, Response to disasters, then recovery or rehabilitation of the region is a significant task for decision makers. Here are the landslide preparedness based on the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology. Hazard mapping. Public information. Engineering intervention measures or slow protection measures. And early warning system. Here is the provided response to the disaster from the LGU Evacuation Plan and National Disaster Response Plan. 
and for the recovery. Here is a comprehension rehabilitation recovery plan.